I think the biggest breakthroughs in research are going to come from research that crosses disciplines. And I think UIC is a place where it's really easy to cross disciplines and to have collaborators who are from many different areas of expertise. Even though my lab is located in the College of Dentistry, I'm embedded in this rich fabric of researchers from all over the campus. And that means that I can collaborate with bioengineers, I can collaborate with pharmaceutical scientists, I can collaborate with people in kinesiology, and in traditional biomedical disciplines. They're all there for me. So that's a tremendous advantage to a scientist, particularly as your research moves across disciplines, because you can't be an expert in everything. So if you don't have the expertise, you can go and find it. And UIC is a very rich environment for that. The reason that we have all the advances and all of the different treatment options we have today is because of research. So research is really the cornerstone of dentistry. And to be a part of that process and to be able to develop new therapeutics or even just understanding how something works, that ultimately is gonna impact patient care. It's really important for a dentist to have both those skills, to be able to not only treat patients, but also to sit there and think, how can they make the treatment better? We have two main areas where we're focusing our research endeavors. One is regenerative medicine or dentistry and tissue engineering. The second is the molecular basis of pathogenesis in the oral cavity, and that falls into two categories. What are the things that cells do wrong that lead to oral cancer? And how does our own immune system become disrupted, leading to periodontitis? The knowledge base in these two pillars of research really frame and support most of the activities in the college. We create new knowledge to fill the gaps in knowledge that have been identified or brought to us as new problems in oral health care. A very important aspect of what goes on in clinical dentistry is to bring these new ideas that have filled the gaps in knowledge safely to our clinicians and to make sure our research focus is centered on not only the problems that are presented but the people who have those problems. In that way, using basic science, translational science, and epidemiology, sociological, and health policies research, we can assure a better health, oral health, and well-being for our community of interest.